hi guys me again um just thought i'd give you another quick video on um some more storage ideas my craft room if i didn't say it in the previous video is a work in progress um i got to remodel it somewhat last year um for my birthday well actually hubby did that <laughs> and we painted it and everything so i'll do a proper room tour at some point but for now i want to just show you um, the rest of my paper storage and card stock, card stock storage um, just to give you some ideas um, and show you what I do. So in the previous video I showed this section here which has got all my stamps, dies, embossing fold, all that sort of stuff. So right next to it is paper. So this is kind of like the paper station. <laughs> so in this one um, and again, these are the Calyx units from Ikea. In this one I have a couple of fridge bins again, um, or interdesign Linus bins, whatever they're called. And I have two. I have one here that is, well, th this whole section will be Project Life, but in this one, this is one that's got three sections in it. Um, if you can see that. <clears throat> and in the front, I've got all the 4x6 cards. So I've just divided them off um, into different sections with just a piece of cardstock, written the name on the top. I literally have the word, uh, the word, <laughs> the letters, PL for Project Life, and then the name of the actual um, set um, or collection, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I've got, I've, I've got four in here. So, um, and then the coordinating three do I three. Uh, three by four cards are just in this section here. Now I have a plan. When this, because I've got four in this front section here, so I reckon four will fit in each compartment. So when this bit's kind of full now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the four by threes, three by fours, into this longer version here, which at the moment's just got some of the dividers in it. And they'll fit perfectly in there and then in this compartment we'll have the four by sixes eventually it will <laughs> fill so i can always do an updated version of that um later on oh sorry <laughs> went off camera there <laughs> oh went a bit off right so this section has this is another one of those bins oh god um and this is going to hold my four by, not my four by six, <laughs> my six by six paper pads. As you can see, there's not too many in here. Um, so what I've done is I have put all my games. Yes, I'm a bit of a gaming geek. <laughs> so my PC games are in the back here, um, just to kind of fill the space. And also, I didn't know where to put them, so that makes sense for me anyway. So that's in there, and this is the one that is. Um, I think it's called the Linus 8, so it's it's roughly 8 inches wide, so if it's the 6x6, six six, perfect. Then I have some of these little, um, they're just magazine holders, and um, this has sort of, oh god, <laughs> make sure I'm filming. <laughs> um, these have all paper packs in them, and these are kind of separated into, I don't know if you can see that, Sort of spring um you know then a to z in sort of themed areas um so a to e might have what's that it's got like animals um you know springs obviously got spring stuff there'll be a summer section bicycles um and it's just papers that kind of relate to that kind of that season or that um what's the word that category and um, so they're in there and then below that this is all my like colored cardstock and again they're sectioned into colors so you know all the reds are here all the yellows greens blues um, and any pattern papers that or anything that that is that color so purple I've got purple glitter card I've got some pearlescent purple papers I've got um, Oh, what's that called? Coordinations cardstock and some pattern papers that are primarily purple. 
they're not themed as in the stuff in the shelf above um, and then sort of all typical you know box standard cardstock in there so again rainbow color rainbow order and then this section just has the rest of my oh, <laughs> the rest of my 12 by 12 um, cardstock you know the, the pads of cardstock they're just in there and then to the left of this and you guys have seen this in one of my previous videos this is the um, again it's a three section uh, like divided bin as the one up there with my project life um, and this just has um, what does this have <clears throat> excuse me so uh, what has this got <laughs> the front one's got um, what's this called watercolour paper some acrylic paper that I've just divided off found my glossy pack so that's good for things like your alcohol inks um, then in this section I've got some just box standard cardstock this isn't actually cardstock <laughs> this will make you laugh but why is black cardstock so hard to find right I find it really hard to find or if you find it it's really expensive for the amount that you're getting um, so <laughs> I actually and I'll show you this because I've, I've got two of them I found these really really cheap they're just like they're actually like artist books I like sketching and I literally just cut it up because most of the time it's just going to be like a base layer on a card just to sort of make the next layer up pop from the card so I didn't care that it was thinner but <laughs> why is it so difficult it's brown cardstock too it's just mad anyway I found it really hard to find and then just some plain white cardstock all cut to size so that um, the same size as the front of the card that I typically use so I explained that again in one of my other um, videos I think on organizing like my go-to cardstock this is it here um, and it's sort of the size card that I typically use so um, yeah and then in this section I can get in there without too many glares there's some like I said in the other video there's some tags there's some coloured pieces that are for the front you know same size as the front of the card some envelopes and some coloured note cards um, in there and this one just holds pre-scored pre made cards and their matching envelopes um, these two other ones I recently bought that have this is well which one's that the canvas paper and the watercolor paper from Wilco so I'll let you know how they go um, but yeah that's basically move back without tripping over something that's the uh, that's this section here is my paper and cardstock <laughs> oh and and I know most crafters will probably have a heart attack when I say what I'm going to say I don't keep scraps anymore I, I used to hoard them like crazy and it just I never used them <laughs> it would get to a point where I'd just be like well what is the point of keeping all that stuff so I recycled it I don't you know there's no point for me anyway I know a lot of you crafters will keep it and use it for everything else but honestly I've got so much paper and card <laughs> do I really need another piece that's just like this big <laughs> no so um, I don't keep any scrap paper anymore so yes so uh, that's it really um, I'll just show you up here oh I, one thing I missed in the other video that's a card that I made, that's not the thing I missed, but that's a card I made for my hubby. Is it last year? Year before, maybe. Uh, 2014. <laughs> Two years. <laughs> I love that thing. I don't know why. You know when you make something and you think, oh, I'm really proud of that. That's one of them. It's very few, but that's one of them. <laughs> um, just really quickly, it's another one of these magazine holders. <laughs> Empty, which is always good. Um, I decided to put my Tim Holtz stuff back onto the stamps, sorry, back onto their little, um, 
oh what are they carrier things um and at the moment they they just keep falling over so that's why they like this but really they will fit across let me show you quickly they will fit across this way like so again in one of these um linus eight inch bins um they fit perfectly in there so i just want to get some more of this or some laminate some white cardstock um to put the other ones on and um I'm going to put them back in here because I just, for me, if I want to do a project with distress anything, I think Tim holds. So, um, I forgot to show that in my previous video about the stamp storage, but that's where I stamp, uh, where I stamp, <laughs> that's where I keep my Tim Holtz stuff. So, that's it guys, I will see you later, <laughs> see you later, what, what? I will <laughs> I'll be back later um with another video so be sure to check it out and um please like and subscribe and all that fun stuff and um yeah have a great evening happy crafting <laughs>